Well, I haven't seen somebody get a reception uh, like what I saw on Saturday night at the Jackson County Lincoln Days dinner, like what we saw from uh, Tracy Chapel. She is running for Jackson County prosecutor. She is on KCMO Talk Radio. And uh, Tracy ran four years ago against Gene Peters Baker. Uh, Gene Peters Baker obviously won. And we know what has happened in this county when it comes to violent crime over the last four years. It has exploded. We are coming off a record year for homicides in KCMO proper, the vast majority of those in the Jackson County part of Kansas City. We have gotten worldwide attention for a Super Bowl parade shooting. And I said four years ago that it was the most important local race that the region had. And I feel that way again uh, four years later. So I'm wrong plenty of times, but I was right four years ago on the importance of that race. And here we are again. Now, Gene Peters Baker is not running for re-election. So you've got a couple of Democrats who are looking to be the nominee for the Jackson County prosecutor. And then you have Tracy Chappell, who is running as a Republican. She now joins us on KCMO Talk Radio, 95.7 FM and the KCMO Talk Radio app. Tracy, good morning. Thank you for being here. What did you think of that reception on Saturday night? Uh, you know what, Pete, the, the reception was overwhelming. It was really good because I feel that people are really tired of the violent crime that is happening in their cities. And when they see someone that's actually going to step up and who's going to do what they say they're going to do, it's it's a breath of fresh air. It's a light at the end of the tunnel. It was just, it was exciting. It was amazing. And, you know, I just know that getting into that office, change is going to come. And those people know that change is going to come. You know, what do you say? Because I mentioned this on Saturday. I've, I've said this publicly and to you and uh, anybody who asks. Um, there's a lot of people who just do not believe a Republican can win in Jackson County in a race like the prosecutors. Uh, you know, people in law enforcement don't believe it. They, they, they would like your platform much better than whoever your opponent might be, but they just don't think a Republican can win. So they're out there saying, well, who's the you know, best uh, Democrat when it comes to fighting crime in this town. How would you respond to those concerns that I keep hearing about? Pete, when, when it comes to those concerns, I will, I will say this, especially to law enforcement officers. If these officers are tired of crime not being prosecuted, if these officers are extremely tired of their, when they, they make lawful arrests and bring those, uh, those investigations to the prosecutor's office and, and those arrests are yellow sheeted, which means that they are not being prosecuted. If they are tired of the increase in violence, then they have to step up along with other members of the community and say, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to put all of my efforts behind this Republican candidate who will get the job done. Pete, we can, we can no longer look at Democrats and say it's a Democratic issue or it's a Republican issue. Crime, is, it doesn't have a label. It, it just does not. And so they have to get behind what they want to happen. And when you get behind that, the most the person who's going to get the job done is the Republican candidate, and that's Tracy Chappell. Tracy Chappell is on KCMO Talk Radio. So what does that look like? I mean, let's talk about the plaza. A couple of weeks ago, we saw another shootout take place just outside of Shake Shack. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, but the Shake Shack had its windows blown out. Cars had their windows blown out. Uh, crime on the plaza has been obviously an issue that's gotten a lot of attention. What can a prosecutor, Tracy Chapel, do about what we're dealing with down there? He that is def. Well, let me let me start off with telling you telling you this. Back in 2021, the police budget in Kansas City was slashed, so you're down two to three hundred officers, which means that you don't have the police presence that you normally would have had before the budget was slashed. But a person in my shoes who's running for Jackson County prosecutor, I am going to show and demonstrate to the police officers and partner with them as the, the chief law enforcement officer that I would be to show them that when they actually make the arrest and they bring those cases to me, I will prosecute. And that also brings a sense of trustworthiness to the community as well. That's something that we do not have. We, we don't have that at all. The communities, the police departments, and everything in between will simply say, if it's a property crime, barely if it's a violent crime, the prosecutor's office is not going to prosecute it. But a person in my shoes will get the job done, and that's done through partnerships to increase accountability and transparency in those areas. What about drug crimes? I mean, that's something that I know this prosecutor's office has kind of backed off of. They don't go after what they 
perceived to be in what they call like low level drug charges. Um, seems to me that drug charges and people that are involved in drug activity oftentimes eventually get to the point of violent crime. What about what the office right now has been doing on that front and how you start to reverse that course if you were to win? In 2021, Jane Peters Baker sent a, a, a letter, a memo to the Kansas City Police Department, basically telling them that they should not send any cases to her office that is involving drugs, drugs only. Um, she wanted cases that involve drugs and violent crimes. Well, as, as we all know, and I've said this on Saturday night, you're dealing with fentanyl, people who are selling fentanyl, people who are selling meth. And when you sell these drugs to our kids who are dropping like flies from fentanyl overdoses, um, you know, it, it, you have to refer these to the office of the prosecutor. These are, even though you respond to them and say they're low-level nonviolent offenses, the more you do it, that person becomes emboldened to continue to do it, and then the violence ensues. Then you have drug deals that have gone bad, and, you know, um, like they're alleging in the Jericho case, and I'm not really sure if that's what it is. I don't really want to speak on that. But you're starting to have drug deals that are involving violence, and you've spent so much time not dealing with the drugs, and it's become violent. It's, it's just ridiculous. But under my leadership as the next Jackson County prosecutor, all drug cases will be referred to my office. And mm-hmm. that's including med. That's including fentanyl, and those who sell fentanyl to our kids, especially those, will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. So that is one of the differences that my my administration, how it will look as a, as it um, 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 it looks different than what it currently looks like now. What about the feds? Is there a role? I mean, we know about uh, Operation Legend from several years ago in 2020. Uh, the feds have played a little bit more of a role, as I understand it in some of the uh, recent issues that the city in particular has been dealing with. What is the role for feds, if at all, in a theoretical Jackson County prosecutor's office under your watch? You know, Pete, I would love to see, I know we would have the feds come in and they would work in concert with the Kansas City Police Department and other policing jurisdictions. But what I, I mean, even though I would like to see the feds come in like they did with Operation Legend, I really would like to see our policing jurisdictions really step up and take a bigger role than the feds coming in. Because as you know, when the feds leave, our police officers are still left to pick up the pieces and to take care of, of, of the crime that's actually here. So even with Operation Legend, it there were some, some, <clears throat> some issues there. Um, you did see crime go down a little bit. You saw a lot of guns getting off the street, but they left, and our police departments were left to pick up the pieces of the things that were still there. So I w- really would like to see our policing jurisdiction um, take a bigger role than what they have. Tracy Chapel, she is running for Jackson County Prosecutor. We will be talking to her uh, plenty more in the months ahead, but uh, it was impressive on Saturday, Tracy. We appreciate you being here, and we'll be talking to you soon. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Pete. All right. Tracy Chappell on KCMO Talk Radio.